Part of the project we impacted most here is continuing to understand the life of the juvenile white sharks after they're born. On this trip, we were able to sample and work up three sharks and really continue to build on understanding how these baby sharks age a little bit and their juvenile range and how it expands over time. The team is just humming so smoothly across every level that things were pretty automatic, you know, and that was demonstrated on this expedition, you know, working dawn to dark, always being efficient, taking advantage of the opportunities we had, and then exploring a new spot. It's really an interesting thing that's just evolved in the project in the last two, three years, is understanding there's a whole world of white sharks out in the shoals three miles plus off of Massachusetts. It was so great to be back to normal and having tremendous community engagement again. We really missed that over the last year, year and a half. There's people coming together on this deck that all have a passion for the ocean and come from some sort of different skill set or different background. And when you bring those people together, powerful things happen for the ocean. The conversations are amazing. And to have that inclusion, our core value, really back in play on this expedition was really great. You know, the scientists wanted approximately 100 sharks, and right now we have 73 so far that we've been sampled and worked up for them. Really, we're going to kind of cap it off with the expedition we're all most excited about, and that's Nova Scotia during the month of September. To go up there and continue and kind of knock out the last sharks we need to tag to really get a handle on how they're moving in and around Nova Scotia and the Gulf of St. Lawrence.